title said it all so now let's jump to it look at my real brows i know sad one and i always start using a spoolie and then i will just brush my brows upward and if there is any hair that going out of the way i will just trim it using a small scissor this scissor is a special uh, for brows and then i will just shave it on the opposite direction where my, where my brows grow and i will just swipe it using the big fluffy brush and then i will shave it again until i find the right shape that i want for my brows and we finally got the shape that we want and then i will start with the clear brow gel from anastasia beverly hills this one is a clear one so it has no color and some people love to apply it after but for me i like to apply it before because it helps my brows to unite together to stick together because you know girls gotta stick together forever so using this brow gel really helps me much so i love to do it before the next step is framing the brows i will apply two methods the first one is using the brow whisk to create the frame i will apply it on my left brow first and then let's start with the small strokes again the small stroke is going upward and then in between the middle of your bone of your brow bone i mean you can create the arch there so arching your brow is important but if you are a person who loves uh, straight brows that looks like a box then your choice my darling your choice but for me the key is to create the right arch so it doesn't make your eyes look so sleepy or you know in my case i have a slanted eyes the next step is using this makeup forever brow corrector to correct my brows it will look like this and i forgot to insert the part where i show you the brush so thank god i have the recording before so this is how it looks for the brush i'm using the crown jewel synthetic brush it is basically just a jewel ended brush and then i'm using the anastasia beverly hills deep brow pomade in this shade dark brown i almost ran out with this product because i wear it almost every day and i love it so much and then i will just apply it um, to fill in the hole in the middle of the frame that we just created before using the brow is and then with the help of the brow corrector and then i will just draw in fill in fill more product and then just blend it using the spoolie you just have to do the method all over again over and over again until you find the shape that you want the key is to find or to using the right applicator so you need to find the right angled brush to apply the deep brow pomade i'm using the dupe version one this one is cheaper but also works really good for my brows so i don't have to buy the expensive one and don't worry about making any mistakes because you can always correct it again using the concealer and this is how it looks like when you try to correct your brow using the concealer here i am using the concealer from bobby brown yeah there you go this is the one the left side that i just did and you can tell the difference already with the other side the right side yeah good one Wow! wow. <laughs> well, you can tell the difference anyway. And for my right brow, I'm using my favorite method. 
which will be less product because I will just create the frame using the deep brow pomade so no need to use the brow is because for me brow is is not that necessary if you just want to create the frame you can always create using any brow pencil that you have or directly just use the deep brow pomade instead for those of you who are having the dryness on your deep brow pomade you can always trick it by adding one drop of essential oil and voila it will going back to the moisture to the moist texture i mean to the moisture <laughs> that's a new word <laughs> I think probably most of you are agree with me that using the deep brow pomade to frame your brows is a lot easier and faster rather than using the brow is one. So your choice, I'm just giving you options. Hope you like it though. And here I feel like there is still extra hair that bugging me. So yeah, I will just trim it once again and then clean it up using the brush. And then if you see the redness around my eyeball for my right eyes because at the previous tutorial I accidentally poked my eyes so yeah redness 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 so here it is this is the brow tutorial from me I hope everyone enjoy watching this and thank you so much for always supporting me this far. I am nothing without you guys. I hope you find this video somewhat helpful for you who look for the right way or probably the most comfortable way to create your brow. So this is the end of my brow tutorial. Just hit me up on Instagram or on my Snapchat. I am highly active on my Instagram so yeah just holler at me at any time you want and if you want to see the whole full tutorial for this look please mention on the comment box below and once again thank you so much for always supporting me don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat I'll talk to you guys soon love you bye